I've been building in The Sims 4 since 2015 and I can honestly say I never knew this. I feel dumb for not knowing it and it probably would have helped me numerous times in various builds. I just, I can't believe it. Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to explore all of the features Sims 4 players might not know or have forgotten about in the game. If you enjoy this type of content, please like the video and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you, I appreciate it. Alright, we're going straight for the classic one, the grilled cheese aspiration. I remember back in Sims 2, this was my favorite aspiration to get. It made its return in patch 30 in 2016 for The Sims 4. Since it's a hidden aspiration, you will have to complete something before unlocking it. Essentially, all you need to do is eat three plates of grilled cheese in a row. Then you can follow the steps within the aspiration to complete it. Once you've completed it, your sim will be able to summon plates of grilled cheese without having to cook them, as well as paint grilled cheese themed paintings. But be careful, if your sim is in a bad mood when summoning the grilled cheese, it will probably be spoiled. Another fun feature would be the ability to set random items as your head. This can get pretty wacky. To be able to do this, you need to enable cheats, shift click on an object and set it as head. The object might be larger or smaller than normal when it appears as the head. To remove the object, make sure your sim is on the active lot, then shift click the object and click reset object. The object will now appear on the ground. Next, you must go into build mode to either delete the object or maybe you want to keep it around. <laughs> Did you know you can change your sim's phone color? If you're sick of the basic blue-green phone color, you can customize it for each sim. It won't only change the UI for it, but also change how the phone looks when the sim is using it. If you love taking screenshots of your sims, then you're in for a treat. Click on the view screenshots at the bottom of the screen. Next, select the photo you want to become a memory and click create memory. Now you'll be able to reminisce about that memory. As you do that, that sim will gain whatever moodlet they had at the time of the picture. Although I don't really think this is a memory system or at least a good memory system. You can use it kind of like that and that's what it's called. I don't really count it though, it's not very good, it doesn't really do much for the game. And honestly, it's not really worth it if you take loads of pictures. But it exists, and it might be useful for some people. Has your sim ever placed trash on the ground outside? Did you automatically get them to clean it up, or just left it there for a while? Well, if you've left the trash pile, you might have noticed that it'll turn into a trash plant. The trash plant will give sims a negative mood that when they're around it, cause it's stinky, and will also grow fruit. Your sim can totally eat the fruit without any ill side effect. In fact, they'll get a somewhat positive one for eating something natural. If that's what you want to call trash fruit. The Sims 4 will help you cheat. Not actually. But they do have a limited list of cheats that are available to you if you open up the cheat box by holding Control shift c and type in help. That way, you'll be able to see a small list of mostly unhelpful cheats. Many people forget about this one element of The Sims 4. It's the reward store. Once you get enough points, you'll be able to spend it here on potions and traits to help your sim's life. Adding traits can help you personalize that sim or help with gameplay. My favorite ones include Never Tired and Steel Bladder. If you love playing as families, then you'll love this one. You can actually have an adult sim coach a child how to swim in a pool. This really doesn't do anything for you, but it's such a cute little interaction to watch. Does your sim have a pen pal? If you're wondering, it's very easy to get a pen pal. All you gotta do is click on the socialize menu on the computer, then find a pen pal. After several hours, check for a response. After you write back to that pen pal and wait for a bit, you'll be able to request a postcard. You can have several pen pals at the same time, which is good because then they could be all in different locations. It might take numerous attempts to actually receive a postcard in the mail, by the way. Try to collect a postcard from all 14 locations. 
If you want to show off your collection, you can put them up on the wall or purchase the cork board and put them up on that. In addition, if you enable the emotion from the postcards, your sim will feel inspired. As well, if you collect all of them, you'll receive a pen pal pal plaque for your achievement. Do you love adding dramatic twists in your gameplay? Look no further, because in the base game, you can actually get cold feet in Call of the Wedding moments before you wed. This is a great feature for players who love having dramatic storylines within their games. AKA me. Another wedding fact would be that you can renew your wedding vows. If you have an older married couple and you want them to go through a wedding renewal ceremony, you could do this very easily. Just click on the wedding arch and hit renew wedding vows. Then your loved up sims can feel some more love and renew their commitment to each other. If your sim has the outdoor enthusiast aspiration, then this one is for you. In the deep woods in Granite Falls, which is a vacation world that came with outdoor retreat, you'll be able to meet and befriend a mysterious hermit. Being friends with the hermit has many benefits, including learning and leveling up your skills in gardening, handiness, herbalism, and fishing. The hermit can teach you how to craft certain potions, as well as the fungal infusion fertilizer remedy. This is actually the only way you can learn that special herbalism recipe. To obtain the death flower, you must be able to graft a few plants together. These plants include cherry to apple to make a pomegranate, then graft a lily to snapdragon to make an orchid, then finally graft a pomegranate to orchid to make the death flower. Once the plant is ready, harvest the flowers. Have your sim deliver this flower to the Grim Reaper once another sim has died. This will allow that dead sim to be revived. If the deceased sim died due to old age, they'll be able to live another two days before dying again. Randomizing sims and casts is always fun, but did you know you can get random sims from the gallery? This will allow you to select from a huge pool of handcrafted, truly unique, and creative, or stylish sim. If you click here, a new sim from the gallery will appear. You can also save that to your library for later if you want, and you can favorite it and check out what the creator has to say about that sim. By the way, all of the sims that will appear will not have any CC. A little detail that many players forget about would be that you can change a sim's posture. Ooh. You can do this by clicking on their back and moving your mouse up mm -hmm. or down to strain their back or not. Now you can have a sim with great posture or not so great posture like me. Do you hate adding windows? I know sometimes it can be tough to figure out how many or where the windows should go, but there's a feature to make it easier for you. You can have the game automatically place windows on each room. Then you can edit how they're placed or delete a few. This can definitely help you out with a tricky build. It's very useful. Roofs can be hard, and sometimes they're just not working out. One thing many players don't know about is the ability to have a unique looking, one side is longer than the other, roof. You can achieve this by clicking shift while dragging the one side of the roof. This also works for the overhang of the roof. Locked in the grid? Free yourself from the grid by clicking the alt key while placing your or rotating items. Do you want different sized objects? Hit the square bracket keys. Left is to size down and right bracket will size up the item. Similarly, you can raise something in the air or lower it back down to the ground with the nine and zero keys. Nine will lower it and zero will lift it higher. A few honorable mentions include First person mode. You can go into first person mode by hitting a shift tab. Right click to be able to use a move here command. Pressing left control will recenter the camera view to whatever your sim is looking at. The space key will cycle through the sims in your household. You can exit this mode by clicking shift tab once more. Auto solve your sims needs by clicking on the need icon in the menu. Watch out for the Windenburg sea monster. Change your sim's dominant hand by using the cheat traits remove trait trait handiness right traits remove trait trait handiness left for a left-handed sim. Did you learn something new today? Because I certainly did. I still can't believe I did not know that trick with the roofs.
Let me know what you've learned in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!